Hi, I'm Janice Sweatlow and today I want to warn about looking in the wrong places for solutions to issues pertaining to Indigenous nation, nations and nationals in the area that's considered and called Canada. Um, for a very long time, the federal government has encouraged Indigenous nationals to look to the example of the Maori. Now this is not to criticize uh, Maori and the solutions they've put in place. It's important to understand that the treaties are different. You, you cannot be, it's apples and oranges, you cannot be looking at a different situation where the treaties are very different and hoping to apply something that they've tried there and expect it to work well for you. Um, that's not going to work, uh, you know, here in Canada. Um, key, most of the treaties have the to have and to hold features, those the, the, the two main um, boilerplate terms that you find in commercial uh, agreements, for instance, that denote that a lesser estate and interest in title is being granted, not underlying title. So first and foremost, you have to appreciate that the strongest treaties that, that I'm aware of in the world are actually in this part of Canada, and it protects... You, you, the solutions need to be designed, if, if you will, the diplomacy needs to proceed on a true foundation, a true basis. Not trying to persuade Indigenous nationals that, um, oh, go, hey, look what they're doing over there, wouldn't that be neat? And, and you know, Fed's funding, um, you know, visits there to look and those people coming here to look um, and share their knowledge and experience. It's just not the same thing. Um, far more important to look to you setting the example of how the diplomacy should proceed. Again, not federal government offering programs and policies and, and, and well funding those. What is the long term cost? What are you abandoning and giving up by embracing that? Now, some, some people think, you know, they're pretty clever, they'll take the money, use it for other purposes. But what they don't realize is they get seduced by this whole process. They get used to playing that role. They, they, they are shrouded in this fake kind of authority and they like it. Uh, and, and they become uh, a key part in termination of the nations. Uh, so sometimes it's better not to be tempted and not to have your people exposed to that unfettered and unprotected um, temptation, if you will, to do things the way federal government wants you to do them. It's time to take a step back um, and look at first understand truly who you are, understand truly what the treaties represent, uh, appreciate that you have not abandoned, you have not surrendered, you have an incredibly powerful leverage to, to use and to not just use it now but to preserve the right for next generations to also use the treaties as a tool, to use your nationhood jurisdiction, to build upon that in the process of casting off the unlawful interferences with the exercise of your jurisdiction. So again, be careful where you're pointed to look. Look at home, look at who you are, look at what you have, and that's all I have to say.